My name is uh, Nick Jacinto, better known as Nature Nick. I do an animal show, and I'm here at the East Brunswick Library with my traveling zoo uh, doing my show. Well, what I do is I specialize in really exotic animal shows, really animals that you're not going to see anywhere else um, in any other animal shows or reptile shows, even zoos. So some of the animals I brought today have a female kangaroo, uh, have a monkey, uh, have this, this little girl, have a three-banded armadillo that's here today, only armadillo that can curl into a ball, but all very rare animals that you're really not going to see anywhere else, definitely not this close. Well, what I try to move away from is having a boring show, which I think at least everybody can remember or recall seeing some sort, not even an animal show, just anyone that came to school, it was just boring. So I do try to plug the entertainment a little bit and keep the kids interested a little bit more using the magic as a, as a tool and a prop. Just about every reptile in the world hatches out of what? Who can tell? They hatch out of, yes, an egg, right? But for a reptile leg to hatch, they need a couple of things. You know what the first thing any reptile leg will need inside of their nest? Is the right amount of bedding. They can't roll around the way a bird egg can. So I actually have my handy dandy paper towel. I'm going to take that and put that into a reptile nest. And the most important thing for any reptile leg to hatch would be the right amount of heat. I'm going to add a little bit of heat. After about two months, a reptile is ready to crawl out and hatch. Watch carefully. Here we go. This is our first animal. You know, I do try to push conservation, endangered species, but just the fact that they know that these animals exist. I mean, you could pull out an animal like this, and adults don't even know what it is, let alone an armadillo, and they know that it's... And now, after seeing my show, they know this is an actual creature that shares this, this planet. So that's really what I strive for more than anything else. Boys and girls, would you like to meet another reptile that I brought? Okay. I have some bad news, though, about this reptile. Little different than the milk snake we saw a little while ago. Do you know why? Little bit more dangerous. You know what makes this next reptile so dangerous? You, you know what? Let me just take out his box. You'll see what I'm talking about. This reptile that I have right here happens to be extremely extremely venomous or poisonous. Let's see if I can reach it nice and slowly and carefully. You're doing great so far. Oh, 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 oh. I think I have him. Let's see if I can get him. There he is! Oh, the way he seems to do that. There we go. It's not real. Just making sure everybody's still awake. Okay? You were looking a little sleepy. I did my undergrad in teaching. When I got out about 10 years ago, the market wasn't that great for teachers, elementary school teachers at least. And this was always a hobby of mine, a life, lifelong passion. And once I got out of college and couldn't get a teaching job, I really pursued it full time and it just grew and ballooned from that point. Well, I think with anyone, um, not even working with animals, but even just following your passion, if you know you have something that you enjoy, just stick with it and do it. I, I mean, I see so many people and, and adults that just give up and they, they go through a traditional track in life and, and really give up on their passion, kind of push it to the sideline. So with me, what I've done is I always try to crucible my, my passion and, and work it in and never forget it. So that's the best advice I can give for, uh, young, young children that want to work with animals or anything else in life. We had uh, Lulu, the giant red kangaroo, uh, Tarzan, the squirrel monkey, the American alligator bro uh, boots, we had the Mexican raccoon or kawadi, which is, uh, that was Pinocchio. Candy cane, the milk snake, have, uh, furry, the tarantula, and warlock, the Eurasian eagle owl. The best way in, in this day and age in 20 th 2015 is, is naturenick.com. You can call me, uh, won't be guaranteed that I'll pick up. So <laughs> if you go to naturenick.com and there's a link to my email. Um, but yeah, naturenick.com, it'll has a little promo video, has pictures. It'll give you a really a visual idea of what I do. It's just a great turnout today, a great turnout, which is always good. And uh, I think we had a lot of fun today. Now I'm going to let everyone in on a secret. Every single show I do, I have to give him his favorite treat. Do you know what it is? Let's see if I can get one out. I'm pretty sure I grabbed one before I started. Marshmallows, that's his favorite treat. But I don't want to give this to him when he first comes out. So you know what I think I'll give him? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hide it in the pocket on my shirt. That way he can't get to it until I'm ready to take it out and offer it to him. So let's see if I can get Pinocchio. Come on now, Pinocchio. Have a few people want to see you. Come on now.
I guess I should have buttoned that pocket before I took them out.